The lady had taken up residence at Turf Moor for the first time since 1960, heralding a summer of celebration in the town, or, as we know it, double shots all round at the big window. A second season in the top flight had been secured in style on the back of a post-war record 23-23 undefeated, a second fair play award in three seasons, and ultimately a momentous, memorable, magnificent championship title. When the dust settled and George Boy's Duracell batteries finally ran out, the task ahead was to establish the Clarets as a top flight club for the first time in the Premier League era. This is how history was achieved. Promotion brought the security of new long-term deals for influential trio Tom Eaton, Ashley Barnes and Players Player of the Year Ben Mee. Paul Robinson signed on for another year and young duo Tom Anderson and Aidan O'Neill both signed new contracts. Goalkeeper Nick Pope and Icelandic Euro 2016 hero Johan Berg Gudmundsson both joined the squad from Charlton. And John Flanagan arrived on a season-long loan from Liverpool. On their way out of Turf Moor were Loney, Lloyd Dyer, Matty Taylor and another fellow midfielder who made a huge impression during the promotion season, Joey Barton. Oh, it's taken by Barton, and Barton, yes! oh, the goal! What a free <laughs> kick from Joey Barton! His remarkable story would have another chapter to come, of course, but first he'd face the Clarets in pre-season after joining Glasgow Rangers, where Andre Gray continued his goal-scoring form with a hat-trick. Chance here for Gray, thought about hitting it first time, might still hit it, and it does, 3-0, super work for Andre Gray. There was much anticipation, excitement and the usual whiff of Werther's originals in the Bob Lord stand as Turf Moor once again raised the curtain on Premier League football, although Swansea were the party poopers. It's flicked onto Arfield, Arfield inside for Vogt, can he score here? Sam Vogt, oh what a save! What a save from Fabianski to his left hand side. He's got pace and skill, gets a cross in there, Lorente with the header, great save, he's ball in, knocked in. And it's Leroy Fur. Swansea, eight minutes from time, have won this one. Davy Jones, who'd made over 100 appearances for the club and played a pivotal role in promotion, was soon a shock departure to Sheffield Wednesday. However, the arrival of record signing Stephen Defoe was the perfect replacement, an antidote to an opening day defeat. And within days, the Belgian was in action as Burnley stunned Liverpool to kickstart the season and offer up a vision of things to come at the turf. Gray's nipped it and looked to drive forward. Found Vox in space. Can Vox turn and hit it? He can! Oh, what a start! Oh, what a start! And what a time to get your first Premier League goal! Mistake in the back by Klein. And Burnley, Burnley have got a goal! And Defoe's breaking on his own here. He's got Gray out with him. Chance here for Burnley. Into the box for Gray. Looks to come inside. Can he left foot in? Oh, what a goal from Andre Gray. That is some finish. I think for all it's um, you know a big game, an important game. Of course, we want to get that first win, that first three points on the table, and we've done that today against a, what are a, a, an excellent side. Eventual champions Chelsea proved too good for Burnley as the Clarets hit the road for the first time before a flurry of activity heralded deadline day. Nice from Burnley, here's Arfield, looked to have a shot here, hit it wide of the target, hit it well. Tom Anderson, Reuven Hennings, Freddie Ulverstad, Danny Lafferty and Lukas Jukovic all went out on loan while Patrick Bamford joined us on a temporary basis. His arrival, though, was immediately overshadowed. Burnley smashed their transfer record again for the second time in weeks by signing Republic of Ireland midfielder Jeff Hendrick from Derby County. <laughs> Stephen DeFore ignited his Burnley career with a sublime strike in the home draw to Hull City. DeFore looking to have a shot. Oh, the goal! Oh, what a goal from Stephen DeFore! What a strike that is! And despite a disappointing debut in the away loss to Leicester, Hendrik also announced his arrival in style on his home debut as the Clarets returned to Turf Moor. And well, the Clarets lead, I think it's Jeff Hendrik. He loves playing against Watford. 
Decent ball in there. Game of that out! Oh, it's 2-0! And it's Michael Keane! Big goal for Burnley! Massive goal for the Clarets! The victory came despite Andre Gray starting a four-match ban for historical social media posts. But new long-term deals for Dee Marnie, Stephen Ward and Kevin Long strengthened the Clarets' resolve. Arsenal edged a tight affair at Turf Moor where after hitting the bar the Gunners controversially grabbed the points in the dying seconds. Con that, the script says controversial. I'm going to say it was offside and handball and I've still not slept. There we are, leave that in. In for Keane, wins the header. Clawed away, was it? Might sit in the bar, I think. It was a great header, really tested uh, the Arsenal defence. I think we're on time now. It's gone short. Ball in here now from Sanchez. And a one, and they've got it in. They scored right to the death. It's agony for Burnley. I think we've gone past the two minutes. Oh, it's gone in off his hand. Surely it has to be on board. Keane's consolation was a debut call-up to the England squad alongside Tom Heaton, giving Burnley two players in the England squad for the first time since 1974. Domestically, life on the road continued to prove tricky for the Clarets, whose tough initiation continued at Southampton, where Sam Vokes' penalty at least opened their account away from the turf. Vokes to hit it, down the middle, good finish from Sam Vokes. However, as was proving to be the case, it didn't take Burnley long to bounce back with a knockout blow for Everton to complete a Merseyside Turf Moor double. Chance here for Scott Arfin if he can pull the trigger. Trying to help it on in the end. Yes! 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 Folks has got it. Don't know what the keeper was doing. And Burnley are one up. Ball forwards nice. Oh, oh the cop has just got the better of his man here. Big chances. Balassi to take it up. Balassi with the shot. Equaliser. Yannick Balassi drives it home. It is going to be four minutes on the 90. Tarkovsky across to win it. Flick it up, will it fall for Keane in there? Can't turn away from his mouth. Well, they've lost possession, they've got it back again. Shot! Oh! oh gets the ball! Arfield with an effort! Yeah! Two up early! <laughs> Not Arfield! For the Clarets! Oh, magic! Surely it's the winner for the Clarets! Scott Arfield! Simple finish left foot in the volley. Came back off the bar. And Burnley have got the lead against Everton. Burnley 2, Everton 1. As Sean Dyche celebrated four years in the Burnley hot seat, the eighth longest serving manager in English football couldn't have wished for a better anniversary game than a trip to Old Trafford. And on a day when Tom Heaton was simply unbeatable, Burnley made it a memorable milestone. Matter. That's ball Abramovich. Good save from him. Out of his goal quickly. Made all those saves this season. There's another. Abramovich right at the back post. And a one. Oh, the save from Eaton. Look, goal bound. That's a top, top save. Chance here. Up towards the back post. Oh, the save. What a save from Tom Eaton. What a save that is. Ashley Barnes, injured in pre-season, made his comeback as Burnley secured their first away point of the season. They've worked ever so hard, kept at it. Worked really hard here to deny United. And in a pulsating clash with Crystal Palace, Barnes announced his return in sensational style as Burnley climbed to ninth in the table. Good chance here for Goodmanson Pratt. They'll try and get it in the middle, looking in the middle for Volks. Default to meet it, Lotto! Saved on the line! Yeah! Sam in! Sam Volks has got it! That's 1-0 Burnley! Inside 90 seconds! Gummerson through the middle, chance here for Burnley. Can they make it 2-0? Gummerson saved from Mandanda. Has he kept it out? Yeah! Gummerson! His first goal for Burnley! And he's put the Clarence 2 up! The keeper couldn't keep it out! Cross comes Ben Mee to deal with Zahar. Zahar with the good ball inside. King together, that's one back. That's one back. Townsend staying on the outside. Ball into the mix. Not behind. They think it's on balls. He's given a penalty. Benteke against Heaton to make it 2 2. Come on, Tom Heaton. Benteke has rolled it into the corner. It's all square here. 
ability to win the next ball. They have through Marnie. Up to on, 2 on, 1. Can Barnes feed uh, Goodmanson here? He's had to go a little wide. Looks it back inside for Barnes. He got it! Ashley Barnes! Oh, what a finish! His first goal of the season since he's come back from injury. How big could that be? Burnley 3, Palace 2. Big moment for you because it's been a, a long, hard road back. It's, it's been tough, but the only way is up, you know. Um, for me, it's, it's obviously unfortunate to pick up that injury that I did at Bradford and, and, and break down a few times in training, but all that hard work's paid off now for, for times like these. Chairman Mike Garlick was celebrating 10 years on the board of directors, already looking forward to further strengthening in the new year. I mean, it's all about quality, not quantity. We've said that several times. I think ultimately our aim is when we kick off on the 1st of February to be a stronger team than when we go into the window on the 1st of January. After suffering their heaviest defeat of the season at West Brom, Burnley, with Paul Robinson replacing the injured Heaton to make his first Premier League appearance since May 2012, again showed they were acclimatising to life in the top flight by running Manchester City close. Aguero, just sit deep at times, looking to have a shot. That's Robinson, good save. Good save, needed that I think. Every yeah. keeper needs a save early on. Ball forward. It's tall for Tottenham, sorry, in the Premier League against Watford it was. Marnie with a shot from distance. Yeah! Oh, no, Dave Marnie! His first goal since 2014. What a finish. No chance for Bravo. Burnley have got to win this in the air. It's flicked on by Nolito. Still in there. Chance equaliser. Stabbed on for Aguero, I think, with the touch in a crowded box. On for Toure, he's looked fantastic so far. Helped it on nicely. Shot here, and that's a great save from Robinson. Moving to his right hand side. What a save that was from Robinson. Hooks it on, looking again far side. Back towards Toure. Toure goes down, never in a million years. Burnley need to clear this. They will do through Tarkovsky. Oh, he's running. Chance on here though for Fernandinho. Get it back inside. Oh, he's squirmed on. It's Aguero again. All eyes on the watch. Lowton to throw it in there, looking towards Tarkovsky. Does flick it off. Oh, oh overhead from Barnes. Save from Bravo. Moving to his right hand side. That will be the final action. The defeat at Stoke was quickly forgotten in another five goal Turf Moor thriller. This time, Bournemouth felt the heat. Hendrick to collect it, looking to have a shot. Oh, what a goal! Jeff Hendrick! Oh, what a finish! That is top class from Jeff Hendrick. Before to deliver. Swings it in right footed. Good ball in there. Ben Mee to win the header. Has he got in? He passed yeah. it out. Stephen Ward's got it. It was Ben Mee that won the header. And Stephen Ward in the melee has applied the finish. Burnley need one clearance here. The ball will come into the middle. This is dangerous. And they've got to go back. We've gone past the minute, and Afobi has got to go back. Barnes trying to get in space on that far side. Ward's had a heavy touch, but Gray will collect. Gray will spin and turn. Good touch on for Boyd. Boyd inside the bar. Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a goal from George Boyd! His first of the season! And what a time to get it! Corner for the Cherries. To change here. Tarkovsky is coming on. Thanks, Dave. We're playing on, though. Got to go back. Burnley thought they were going to make the change there. Had a look at his watch once. He's going to blow, is he? Yes, big three points for the Clarets. Deserved it. Deserved it. Henry with a worldie on 13 minutes. But most importantly, Burnley won it by three goals to two. The away woes continued, though, with a London double as West Ham and Spurs inflicted back-to-back -back defeats despite improved performances. And Barnes putting us ahead on a last-ever visit to the old White Hart Lane. Chance here for Burnley. Arfield to try and hook it back. Boyd to help it on. Get in! Get in! It's Ashley Barnes from a couple of yards. Go. And Burnley have got a shot lead here at White Hart Lane. But there was a Christmas present on the way. Two big wins at Turf Moor. First against Middlesbrough, then the demolition of struggling Sunderland. Box to flick that on. Get it! It's a it's second of the season, and the Clarets, with ten minutes left, are ahead. Big atmosphere at Turf Moor, with Burnley facing Sunderland.
That's headed off. And Gray's OK. He's on side. Good towards goal now. Andre Gray. He's yeah! One yeah! for yeah! Come on, Andre man. Gray. He's right back in business. Marnie took it for and again. Gray's causing the problems. Chulamonchi's caught him. Surely Gray can finish. Yeah! It's two now. Yeah! It's Andre Gray. He's finished it. It's style. A bit of daylight for the Clarets. Ball forward to find Barnes. Barnes to take it down. This is Gray's hat trick. Yes! Yes! Patrick Gray! Yes! Patrick! Burley's first. Patrick in the top division since Peter Noble in 1975. The Clarets are in dreamland. Oh, ball through the middle and Barnes is onto this. O'Shea with him. Barnes holds it up nicely. Oh, inside for Arfield. Oh, knocked over Lars. Yes! That's a penalty. Larson pushing oh, over oh, oh, oh. Arfield. Come on, Barnes. Barnes against Minone and scores. Oh, just planted it in the corner. The keeper stood in the middle. Burnley, a running riot here. The Clarets have won it. Burnley four, Sunderland one. It's been a great Christmas for Burnley. Three years ago now, I was playing in non-league, so um, to come, I never would have dreamed of scoring a hat trick three years on. So um, to to do that was was great. I hope he's back. A familiar face rang in the new year. Joey Barton rejoined the Clarets following his departure from Rangers. The midfielder saw a one-match ban actually rule him out of the trip to Manchester City where Burnley were getting ever closer to improving their fortunes on the road. Burnley win the challenge with Ward. Next ball, Ooh, that's a that's strong one. Oh, play. that's a poor challenge. That it's is a poor challenge. We'd want to see the replay. It's on oh, Goodman. It's a red card. card. It's Had to be. He can't have any complaints. A shocker. An absolute shocker. Having to defend well here, even against ten men. Chance here now. Ball back in towards the box and in. That's a finish from Cliche. And it's De Bruyne driving forward now. Looks to pick a pass. Oh, he's got away here. Chance against Eaton. Oh, it's another super save from Eaton. Aguero in. It. It's two 0 Aguero's finished it. Defoe to take it, swings it in near post, trying to flick it on, it's in the box in there. It's, it's in. in, is it? Surely it's, it's gone in. That's gone in. Couple of attempts, got in the it's third time. It. Has it's to go in. It. Three times Burnley had a go. City tried to keep it out three times. I'm not sure which one went in, but it's in. It's in there. In. Ben Mee scored. Ben We've got the technology, we don't need to have a conference. It's finished Man City 2, Burnley 1, but the Clarets come out of a very controversial game with a lot of credit. What a moment though for Joey when he made all the headlines taking centre stage in a fourth successive home win as Southampton became the latest victims. This wall will have to go back yet. What a return this would be for Joey Barton. Barton to take it, referee's ready. Chance for Barn, and it's gone! Oh, what a return! What a return for Joey Barton! Oh, a finish with the free kick, and Burnley have a lead! Sometimes you go to clubs and for one to try and it just doesn't fit, it doesn't work out. Um, and then other places you step back in and it's just seamless. And You know, I just love playing for this football club and um, intend to enjoy every minute of it because I realise by not being here just how special it is. As upbeat Burnley headed to the Emirates for Sean Dyche's 200th game in charge, surely Lightning couldn't strike twice following their controversial offside handball goal at Turf Moor earlier in the season. Or could it? Flicked on, it's in there. It's Mustafi with the header. He's going to throw it into the mix, looking for Tarkovsky, trying to flick it on. Will it fall in there for Barnes? Yes! Oh, no. yes! yes! Burnley! Oh, and Arsenal are furious. Ashley Barnes has gone down. It's a clear penalty. Andre Gray against Petr Cech. Andre Gray! Yes! yes! The Clarence on level! And Andre Gray has got his seventh of the season! Back for Sanchez. Sanchez to get across it. Dangerous one in there. And the one is in there. Has he given? He's given a penalty late on here. Is it given against Dangerous kicking for Ben Mee? Has he tried to hook the ball away? It looks harsh, and there's a hint of offside as well. Oh, I think he's offside! Koscielny's offside as well! Sanchez to win it here now. Come on, Tom Eaton! Scores down the middle. 
so hard on the Clarence. It's what, the eighth minute of additional time. To compound that, Dean Marnie was ruled out for the season following a late challenge that saw him come off worse. As we've come to expect though this season, Burnley shrugged off this disappointment to bounce back in style again, beating Leicester to register a fifth straight home win. Plenty up, everybody back for Leicester. Could this be a key moment? Four minutes to play. Harfield to dig one out again. Keen to win the header. Is it blocked? It's there! Burnley lead! It's Sam Vokes! 51 for Sam Vokes! And Burnley deservedly lead! That is deserving! Burnley were suddenly back in the top ten on a day when popular Michael Kitely departed Turf Moor to join Burton Albion's fight to try to relegate Blackburn Rovers. Here at the turf, with two new faces in the ranks following the deadline day signings of Ashley Westwood and breaking their transfer record for the third time to land Robbie Brady from Norwich City, optimism was high. A trip to his former stomping ground, Vicarage Road, proved frustrating for Sean Dyche and 10-man Burnley, who lost Jeff Hendrick early on to a red card, but came within a whisker of stealing a point. Jeff Hendrick in strong here, as he won it. Oh, it's given as a foul, and the crowd and the referee here. Oh, he's reaching for his pocket, but Jeff Hendrick is off. Oh, my word. Six minutes, Jeff Hendrick on his way, and he'll miss three games. Brady with the free kick, just dinks it in left foot. A good ball, Barnes to try and win it. I think Kabul put him off, Barnes hooks it towards goal. Oh, he's off the line. Is it saved? Barnes here, this. Through bodies, so just deflected wide. Penalty. I think that ball penalty him. Come on, Burnley. Big chance for the Clarence. Barnes scores. Tucks it in the corner. Back in it, the Clarence with 13 minutes to go. It's 2 1 here. Ball looking over the top. Oh, it might fall for Barnes. Can he finish it? Oh, against Gomez. Oh, he hit it. Wow, that was a chance. And this home and away flip flop season for Burnley showed no signs of abating as they then welcomed runaway leaders Chelsea to Turf Moor. Here's Moses driving forward. Burnley couldn't get a challenge in. Moses to hook it inside. Big chance here for Pedro. 1 0. Pedro scored. Wasn't going to miss that. Brady's placed it. What a way to start your career at Turf Moor if you could put this away. Referee's ready. Robbie Brady to hit it. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Robbie Brady! Welcome to Turf Moor! To Robbie Brady! What a free kick for the record signing! It's 1-1 one, one here! There was further evidence that Burnley were growing on their travels with a hard-fought point at Hull City after falling behind. Corner comes in, swung in towards the back post. Chance here for Burnley! Yeah! The level! And it's Michael Keane has got the equaliser! Great corner, took it down on his chest and thumped it. The trip to Swansea, though, provided the latest hard luck story as Andre Gray's double counted for nothing following a controversial last minute winner for the Welshman. Burnley've got a penalty given for handball in the mix. Chance for Burnley to level things here. Come on, Andre Gray. The scores down the middle. The keeper went to the right hand side. Burnley a level. Ball yeah, in towards yeah. the box. And a one. Chance here for Gray, perhaps. Can he finish it? Yes, he can! Burnley lead! Andre Gray on four. Super finish. Magnificent finish. Carroll to deliver a cross. So Gerton peeled to the far post. A score! And Lorente's won it. In time added on. There was a push on Ben Mee, perhaps. And there was only pride, if not points, following the trip to Anfield, where Burnley could at least celebrate a goal there for the first time since 1975. Lowton looking to get forward here, looking for a ball inside, looking for Gray, my foot for Burnley! 1-0 yes! Burnley! Oh! Burnley have scored at Anfield for the first time since 1975. A new generation began to emerge as Daniel Adji made a debut in front of the cop that the young striker will remember for the rest of his life. A run of four successive away games then came to an end with one more point to the total at Sunderland where Burnley could and arguably should have earned their first away win. Gets on for Arfield, off and this catch on yeah. to oh, oh, shine a light. Danny Eye, and he's under pressure from Volks, and Volks has nicked it. Good chance here for Sam Volks, can he score? Saved by Pickford, did everything right Sam Volks. 
But as Burnley took stock, it was a month to remember for Michael Keane, who made his England debut in Germany as one of seven Clarets on international duty. Keane became the first Burnley outfield player to play for England since Dobbo in 1974, earning widespread acclaim at the start of what's surely a long and fruitful international career. Back home though, Burnley's tough run of games continue as Tottenham kept the pressure on Chelsea by inflicting a rare Turf Moor defeat. Lawton looking early for the cross, looks deep, he's finding Barnes, is he in the far side, header on target. Comfortable enough for Lloris, only got to try and win the first header here. He's gone in towards the six-yard box, oh he's gone around in there, Hendrick still a big chance and it's in. Fired home by Eric Dyer. Heaton to get the ball in the mix, Keane's gone up, Fox to try and win it, will it fall for Keane in there, left foot, just sliced it on the turn. This is the danger on the counter-attack, and just look at Deli Alley picking this up again in the box, great ball back inside and Son scored, and that's the second for Spurs. Three days later though, the Clarets toughed it out to get back to winning ways at Stoke's expense. Looking to get in the box here, Jeff Hendrick, done ever so well, ball inside, big chance, yeah! what a Clarets lead! Yeah! Boyd. Great work from Jeff Hendrick, and there was George Boyd to finish it. It was a tough spell on the road for the Clarets. There was a point at Middlesbrough, though, defeated Everton. Lukaku away from Key, has scored, probably sealed it. Great turn from Lukaku. Then Manchester United flexed their muscles at the turf. Marshall's just got the better of Barton, he's trying to tug him back. Oh, it's four on two here, big chance for United. They've made come to the far post, Marshall should score. That's... Oh, caught on the counter-attack, and Anthony Martial has scored. Poppets comes away from two, chance for Martial to put them two up. Great save from Tom Eaton, Rooney to squeeze it in, he's gone in. It's 2-0, Rooney's got it. Ball in from Heaton, had a one by Pogba, touched on here towards Gray. He's trying to turn and shoot here, he is all oh, one of the target, got a deflection. Great from Andre Gray. But at the 18th time of asking, the long trip to Crystal Palace finally earned us that elusive away win. Milosevic caught in possession, well done Ashley Barnes, brushes his man off. Ball inside here is nice, as it found his man and Westwood, helped on towards Ward. Ball into the middle, chance for Barnes, Miss Gekvist yes! got Burnley lead at Sellers Park, and it's Ashley Barnes with Come the ball. Burnley's first attack of the game. On eight minutes, missed kicked initially, a second bite of the cherry, smashed it past the keeper. Swung right into the mix, Burnley haven't got a half head on it, ball in there, oh what a save from Tom Eaton, what a top save, it was Delaney on his left foot. Can Burnley do the double over Palace? Well, on the chase here, he could seal the game perhaps, into the box, Andre Gray, finish it, Andre Gray! Yes! Burnley! But Salas Park on Andre Gray smashed it past the keeper. Great counter attack from Burnley. Six minutes left to play. It's Crystal Palace nil. Burnley two. Surely that away record is so so close now. Burnley's away day blues are very nearly over. Into the middle should be cleared by Flanagan. Halfway with a touch. The away day blues are over. Burnley have done it. They've done it, they've won away from home, 18th time of asking. Surely those three points edge Burnley towards safety. Burnley've got an away win, and they've got one in the capital. The thing I'm really pleased at is the mentality of the players today. That, that willing and desire to keep going, no matter what people are saying on the outside. When you think of it, we hadn't had that win, and they've just stuck at it, the fans. They've stuck at it with the team, week in, week out. So that one's undoubtedly for them as much as it is for us. Suddenly, the finishing line was in sight, and the visit of West Bromwich Albion signalled the fact that the Clarets were finally over the line. Lolton to help it on. He's got Barnes inside. He can find Barnes. Plus, trying to get. Oh, it's a penalty, surely. Was he held down? Is that. Yeah! Yes! Oh, no! yes! yes! Everybody was looking at the referee. Barnes got it back in there, and Sam Volks with the finish. McLean in towards the box. Hooks it back inside, looking for Rondon. Rondon scored. It's the equaliser. Brunt with it, swings in and towards that near post. Header one, and it's a 2 1. And it's Dawson with the header. It's going to be swung in by Brady. Gets it right in the mix. Keeper coming. Header one and on. Yeah! Equaliser! It's Sam Fox again. Keeper caught in no man's land. Great delivery from Brady. 
10 home wins was an astonishing achievement for a newly promoted club. Burnley were only ever in the bottom three for the opening weekend of the season. Unmistakably, the history boys were on the up. And for all of us, the next amazing chapter of Burnley Football Club was set to begin.